What's going on guys? I am in my truck headed fishing with Fire Pond Guy. You guys know him. And uh, we're not going to pond though. We're actually taking the boat out to a lake. And last time him and I went to the lake, it did not go well. It was like 100 mile an hour winds and we caught, we caught some fish, but it just, it wasn't that great. So we're going to a new lake. It's uh, 84 degrees in Omaha, Nebraska on October or something, mid-October. So it's kind of crazy, so we're, we're making an effort to go to a, the lakes uh, before they get too cold. I've kind of heard some good things about the lakes. We're go the lake we're going to today, and uh, we plan on fishing shallow feeding, or we plan on fishing shallow for the bass that are feeding up for winter. And uh, for those of you guys who watched my channel a while, you guys know I used to do like driving time lapses a lot, and so I'm gonna do like bring that back for this video. So enjoy the time lapse. We uh, made it to the lake. Just put the uh, boat in the <coughs> wow, getting kind of sick. We uh, put the boat in the water. Alec and uh, and Ethan are down there, but we're fishing the lake. Whether I catch a fish today or not, I'm making this a video because uh, it's just I just need to keep putting out fishing videos since that's which that's why you guys subscribe. So we're we're basically just going pig hunting though, big fish only. No uh, no flare fish today, only biggins. All right, well, I made it. Oh my gosh. I was just about to do the intro. Look at this. This is why you don't take fire pond guy fishing. <laughs> he, ju he literally just spooled that up. He oh. just spooled that up. First cast in the back. Love it. Rookies. After that little incident, I'm gonna attempt to cast. Not hit anybody like somebody. I'm bringing out the uh, the old reliable, the one you guys get pissed at me using all the time, but you know, I catch fish. The old black and blue chatter chatter. Never go wrong. That's how you catch the big ones. Nope, they don't like chatter bait. I'm going with the black and blue jig, something slower. This is the juice. Biggin? Yeah, yeah biggin. Yeah, like the biggest one of the day right there. I'm going to the uh, the old jerk bait, the old crappie special. PB crappie special. See if I can catch myself uh, another slab crappie. Well, my GoPro died and uh, this guy was like, oh yeah, I got a bunch of weeds. And then just brings out the biggin. All right, we found them guys, dropped the poles. All right, well, we uh, it's uh, pretty tough. We thought we were gonna just go straight to the juice and clean up shop, but not the case today. So we're going out on the main lake. We're gonna probably flip some trees, maybe try the dam a little bit, and then uh, see. I don't know. We've got we got it's a, still early. Yeah, it's early. Still got like two and a half to three hours to fish still. So we got we got time. We got plenty of time. There's one. Oh. Oh, dude, look at that swirl. Oh my gosh, that was a giant. Completely missed it. He described the back of it. All right, that gives me a little bit of faith. As my dad always says, get him in the burp. <laughs> get him in the burp. Oh, oh, we found him. Look at that. They eating. They eating now. I'm the only one without a fish. I'm really good. You guys want my channel? You guys can have it. Got that on the lipless crank. Another uh, walnut brute. Oh, nut brute. The nut brute. The nut. The nut's just filled with toads. Right in that corner, there you go. Little guy. Nice. This is the uh, the juice right here. Jerk bait on the dam. It's an automatic five pounder. Uh, quick update. Do you know what time it is? Nope. My watch is broken. It is 6.07 p.m. We've got 45 minutes or so to fish. Uh, Ethan, he caught a fish. Got a little one. Got a little one. He got a little one. I've got a really big nothing. So we're going to go to the juice. The juice that we've been speaking of being juicy this whole juice in time. We're going there for one last final juice run. 
and uh, the, the size of the fish we catch, guess what? Guess what they're gonna be? They're gonna they're gonna be juicy, juicy size fish for sure. Time for the buzzer, the old buzzer. <laughs> what the heck? Did you did you guys just see that? Yeah, try and find it. Dude, sick. I'm just yeah. re reeling in the biggins now. All right, folks, we're not messing around anymore. We got the old buzzer, buzzer bait on. Big fish only bait. Sick. Well, that just randomly decided to appear in my spool. So pop a squat here and uh, retie. 20 minutes later. Well, it was a really tough day. We had high expectations because it was really warm and we thought we were going to catch fish. I got some word from other people, other fishermen, that this lake was on fire, as Alec would put it. And it turned out that it was completely opposite. Ended the day with two dinks. I didn't catch any. I had a couple, I had one big girl uh, sniff my chatterbait, and that's about it. You got any last words? It wasn't fire. Tomorrow. So, so I originally planned on making a fan mail unboxing completely separate from this video. I wanted to make a fishing video and then a fan mail unboxing video. And as you guys saw, the fishing video didn't go as planned. So I decided to combine the two. This isn't like my resort to making a video. Like I said, I plan on making separate videos. I really, I realize that I've been neglecting the fan mail. I, call, I said that the fan mail unboxings were lame. And some people called me out on it, but I wasn't implying that the stuff you guys send me are, is lame. I was implying that making an unboxing video instead of a fishing video is lame. It's not that I think that these videos are lame, but comparing them to an actual fishing video, I think they are. And I think you, most of you guys would understand that. But the whole point of having a P.O. Box is to do fan mail unboxings to show you guys what the fans send me. Um, and for you guys to see me open your stuff on camera, I think it's just exciting uh, for both people, for myself and for you guys to watch. So I decided to combine these two videos so the people that like the fishing, at least you got a few minutes of fishing. And now the people that like the unboxings, now you get a few minutes of fan mail unboxing. So this is from the past week or so. There's uh, there's quite a few things in here. I am not gonna open any letters on camera, simply because packages are just more interesting when I get items, especially like candy. If any of you guys are watching this and wanna send me candy, please do so, I'm a big fan of it. But fishing lures or candy or whatever you guys send me, that's what I'm gonna unbox on camera. But I do open and save every single letter and piece of fan mail that I get. I have a big folder of it in my office that I keep of all the letters. So don't think that I don't read them and I really do appreciate the letters, they're, they're awesome. But as far as entertainment purposes for on camera, I think packages are better. So right here are the majority of the, the packages. There's, there's a few more in there, but these are the ones I'm gonna start with. This one says not intended to be opened on camera, so I'm going to receive Respect that and uh, do that a little bit later. That sounds like some fishing lures. We'll, uh, we'll start with this dude right here. Hello, Flair. I sent you a popper, a one-eyed crank, a jerkbait, and a jig. Hope you enjoy these. P.S. Can you please give me a shout out? I just made a YouTube channel, at Reed Scott, your sub Reed. Reed, everyone go check out Reed Scott on YouTube. I got a... Uh, well, your letter just flew away. We got uh, a little crankbait, got a one-eyed crankbait, got a little uh, football head jig, a little green pumpkin, some chartreuse. We got a little pop R. It looks like actually one of the original rebel ones. Right there, feather tail, good stuff. We got a jerk bait with some rattles in it. Thank you so much, Reed, for all the lures. If you guys want to see me do, I know I'm not like copying the other people, but like one rod made a video, I think. I don't know if he was the original, maybe he wasn't, of fishing with subscriber lures like the fan mail lures. If you guys wanna see me do that, comment down below and hit the like button on this video. If this video gets a lot of likes and a lot of comments, I'll uh, do an episode fishing with fan mail lures. Please open on camera. Will do. Yep. All right, we got a Ziploc within a Ziploc, within a napkin. The AC Shiner, I don't even know who makes that. That thing is, uh, I think it's pretty crazy. It's got like a little metal lip. I'm definitely gonna take that one fishing. I don't know what that one's gonna do. From Aiden Craig. Oh yeah, we got a Guggen Squad drawing. By the way, we have a new t-shirt. I'll drop the link down below if you guys wanna check out the new Guggen shirt. We usually are running these shirts only for like a week or so, so if you want the shirt, you should get it now before we take it away. I've sent you this handmade crankbait. So this is a handmade, cr so he made this, I don't, how did, I don't. Thank you so much for the kind words, Aiden. Appreciate the homemade crankbait. Really impressed, actually. I definitely thought it came uh, from a lure company, like a manufacturer. Good work. This is a homemade topwater lure. What one lure would you use for the rest of your life if you only had one? Probably a frog. 
Thank you, Michael, for the uh, the homemade. Check this thing out. We got a homemade top water. He even put a little spinny prop on there and covered the hook so I don't hook myself. Thank you for that. Please open this on an unboxing. P.S. I am 13 years old and your biggest fan. You don't catch small fish, haha. -ha. Well, thank you. Hi, Andrew. My name is Eli Griffin. Thank you so much, Eli. And he sent me some Strike King baits there and some uh, little grubs there. Thank you so much for the baits and the kind words. I appreciate you saying I don't catch small fish. This is going to have something good in it. It's a big one. Please open on camera. If you guys want me to open your packages on camera, right, please open on camera. A potato. A freaking potato. 2AP. We tow from Hagwort Dugwort. I think you sent it to the wrong P.O. box. I'll make sure to bring this to Texas when I see AP next and uh, give them the potato. Please don't send me any more vegetables. What do we got? We got some lures, lures, and we got a note. Hey, Andrew, my name is Chief Collins. I'm 13. Your videos make me laugh and help me get better at fishing. P.S. Why is Peric's nose bigger than the fish he catches? I can't answer that question. I don't think anybody knows, but you sent me some worms there, some craws there, and uh, some more worms there. Thank you so much, Chief Collins. We got one more, one more left. Dear Small Fish Flare, I hope these giant utails help you catch big fish. From Alec, P.S. Show this to Rob, AP, John, and One Rod too. So he sent me some, uh, some big, what are these, avocado monster 10, 10 inch worms. Because he said I catch small fish, so he sent me the big worms to catch the bigger fish. I appreciate it, Alec. All right, guys, well, that's about it. That's all I've got. Hopefully, you guys weren't too disappointed that I didn't catch any fish while fishing. I, the reason why I didn't just make this a fan mail unboxing and included fishing in it was for one reason and one reason only, and that was to show you guys that I'm actually making an effort to catch fish. I didn't want you guys to think and to see that this female unboxing and then think like, oh wow, Flair's just being lazy, not even taking the boat out or not even going to ponds and fishing. He's just sitting in his backyard un unboxing packages for videos. I am trying. I went duck hunting twice and failed and ended up making one duck hunting video out of that and then went fishing and failed and then combined it with a female unboxing. It's just, it's a really bad time for fishing where I live and the duck hunting isn't good enough to really make really good videos. So you guys just stick with me through these tough times. I am traveling though. I'm going to Taylor Rock tomorrow uh, with another member of the Guggen squad and fishing a tournament with him. And then the week after that, I'm going on another fishing trip. So, so bear with me and you'll see some good fishing videos coming up soon, I promise. If you guys like the fan unboxings, make sure you check the PO box down below. You can send me some stuff. Make sure you drop a like, you leave a comment. I don't care. Whatever you guys want to see. If you guys want to see me do something different than fan mail, if you want to see me fish with them, you let me know. That's all I've got. Peace. You ain't got to tell me twice. Jesus. <laughs>